Yo, the internet is gonna make everybody kill each other. Engage. I'm Rockland. I travel the globe for leisure, exploration, and education about different cultures. Join me, and you too can be royalty. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard, abroad. Over the past few years, I've begun to get really frustrated with internet searches. Not only is things honestly becoming harder to find, but it sometimes seems the search engines are not even trying. Then on the other hand, I've dabbled in search engine optimization, called SEO, for this show so I could understand how to get more eyes on my product. The most important takeaway I've gathered in that study was that I should create content directed at what people are already looking for. Now I want y'all to think about that for one minute. I promise you this is going to come together to one scary point by the end of this video that proves why we all are getting more racist on the internet. Yeah, have you ever did a search for one thing on one completely different website now all of a sudden everywhere that you go on the internet is now advertising the same exact product to you? That means somebody got some information about you that they're not supposed to have. And it also means something more dastardly. Not only that, but now your social media sites are also showing you certain posts from certain friends and deciding on its own how they should filter who you see. The worst part about it is regular unbiased journalism is all but dead. So most of the time on the internet, you are not getting facts. You're getting opinions from people who have not studied that subject. Now the culprit is algorithms. So to prove my point about racism on the internet, I want you to put all this together. Here's the definition of an algorithm. So now we are all living in a world where any opinion anyone has can be confirmed by others on the internet who could be more ill-informed about the message than you are. All he knew when he or she made his website or video is that people were already searching for that subject. Not only that, but they agreed with your false narrative so their false information could rank well in a search. But that reinforces false ideas. Now take that and add it to algorithms. They try to bunch people together so it can tell those who are buying advertisement that it can tell you exactly what your audience bunch will like. Let me say that clearer. Say Facebook ads for instance. When you buy an ad, Facebook will ask you what kind of audience would you like your ad to be shown to. Which means they've already determined what anyone likes and don't like. Then they feed those people with more of what they like and less of what they don't. When I showed favorability to Bernie Sanders, all of a sudden my feed was filled with pro-Bernie stuff and anti-Hillary and Trump stuff. You may at first think this is a good thing, but when you think about what others may be seeing all the time, imagine what ideas must be reinforced after someone else clicked on a like for a not so bad Obama story or a favorable story about a cop shooting a suspect justifiably. Yo, internet, just because I show interest in a subject at one point does not mean that I'm a staunch believer in it. Stop showing me things that you think I like and show me the things that I searched for. Now, I'm sure their feeds are being filled up with Obama is Hitler and all cops are justified when they shoot and kill anyone. So now, they're being bombarded with stories that reinforce those ideas. To make matters worse, you start to believe everyone is being fed the same information. So when you finally do run into someone who disagrees with you, you wonder to yourself, how is it this person could have such a far-fetched opinion that no one else believes? This phenomenon is making humans hate each other to a point where I feel this could be the foundation to the destruction of mankind. Humans, we're really gonna have to get out more and talk to each other more in person because the internet is turning us all against each other. You don't believe me? Check out this other example. Racism without power is not racism. It's pretty much just name calling and bullying, which is pretty much all that can be accomplished online. Honestly, people shouldn't care when some troll is in the comment section of a YouTube video, throwing the N-word out left and right. Chances are, they're in a worse position in life than the person they are trying to offend. But anyway, my solution is we need to get rid of these algorithms as a society. Or I predict that in about 10 to 15 years, we are all going to hate each other like never before. The opportunities to negotiate and form consensus will be gone. Also, when you're following a story, make sure that you're getting your information from many, many sources. 
because you're probably gonna have to do some work separating fact from fiction. All right, that's my show for this week. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Share this video if you agree or disagree. Leave a comment. If you wanna make money online so that you can travel more, go get my free book that shows you exactly how to do this at www.passportkings.com. Do your best to find real news instead of opinion pieces. Make sure it's only facts and unbiased. Be well informed like a king of Passport King. Peace out.